Hi, Hi campers. campers! Welcome back to the Choose Edge and Most Home channel. Yes, we're back with another exclusive on the Auto Sleepers August. Dawn, what have we got behind us today? Today we are looking at the absolutely lovely Fairford. Yes, again, lovely auto sleeper built on a Fiat. This one's an auto, as you can see behind us. Nine speed auto, yep. 180 brake horsepower, 2.2 mm. multi jet engine. Yes, we love it. We're going to do a quick review on it for you now, so follow us around. So here we are, campers, on the near side, the passenger side of the United Kingdom. We have the swivelly, swivel, swivelly chair, which we've swivelly, swivelly, swivelled for you. And um, just behind the passenger door, we have the panel, which hides our diesel filler cap and add blue. It's all good for Euro 6. Coming down, slammage, we have our electric step. Not much going on down this side, which is quite nice. Keeps it nice and plain and lovely. And what we do have right at the very end is our barbecue point, which is super. Above, we have a lovely two-lay ominous awning, all the privacy glass, and an exterior light, so you can come home and annoy the neighbours. So here we are, campers, on the rear of the vehicle with our lovely reversing light and stop light at the top there. Um, we have a spare wheel under the van. I like the van conversions because you actually come with a spare wheel. Um, open up these beautiful, lovely grey doors where you can see at the interior. So we've got two really nice places to perch yourself at the uh, campsite, looking out at the vista, or you've got a really nice bed. And with the Fairford, you've got the bed at the front as well. So it's a four sleeper, four berth, super. The doors, like any other commercial vehicle, yeah. will open as well to give it an extra space um yeah works perfectly well really nice color scheme again with the azul uh, blue cushions very nice too on the offside the driver's side in the united kingdom uh, we have the inlet and outlet exhaust there for the water heater the well wow, water yeah. heater and wall and heater uh, so when you're using it on gas your flu coming out and talking about the flu, here's the flu, the flu, the flu. <laughs> the cassette of the, joy. Here's the cassette, the cassette of joy. Um, yep, it's ready to go, makes camping a breeze. Um, we have our whale, um, no we don't, we have our 12 volt um, supply out. Oh, and so TV for, connections, yeah? Yeah, TV connections, if you've blown up a caravan, blown up a caravan, blown up a canoe, <laughs> <laughs> blown up a caravan, just blow the bloody doors off. Um, we have a water filler point there, wild water filler and an ordinary water filler. Uh, so that's how you get your fresh in. And underneath, we do have the drains for our fresh tank, drains for the waste tank, and the tanks are stored up underneath with the heating elements within them to stop them freezing. Oh, so they've got the winter, winter pack. packs on them. Oh, yep. winter package. All the arches are insulated as well with that. Yep, we've got our um, main hook up lead here, little blue lever, just pop it down to pull out the... Uh, main hook up we've got an lpg filler point and we've been through that with you before brilliant 25 liters of gas underneath the van actually about 20 18 to 20 um the expansion the, of the, the gas. expansion and there's a solenoid on the inside so you don't have to crawl around underneath the van to turn it off anymore. piece of cake isn't it yeah rather than crawl underneath on a wet wednesday afternoon <laughs> turn the gas on or off from your control panel air suspension so it does it's an assisted air suspension, so it just helps the, the van travel at the same, the right height, the preferred height by the van manufacturer. Not to be and confused with levelling, of course. No, exactly. And then we have the gauge, a bit of a gaugeage there for your LPG, L to the P to the G. Very nice. Right, let's go in then, shall we, Marky? Let's have a look inside. Lovely van. So, opening up this lovely wide door, which gives you all this ventilation noise. And again, if you're sitting there having your dinner, you could be looking out of this door. Mm. Brilliant. Um, it's really nice. in, we have our uh, lights, exterior lights and interior lights with a, a button for your step. Um, you can already get into the end of your cabinet by the door here. We have our little dining area, which is super, which will... The table obviously drops down to make up another bed. Might be for little ones, but you know, it is a four berth. You can take children this perfectly. There's a little anchor point on the floor. I don't know if you've ever seen this, Donnie. Well, you've seen it. I don't know if our lovely campers have seen it. This little uh, 
gap there, if we slide the table along, it then parks the table in there, so you can then um, stop it from kicking up. It actually stops the table rising up when you're driving around. It's Perfect. That gives you great. more space to get in and out then if you're travelling, doesn't it? Exactly. Table's parked. It's not going to lift unless you want, you know, people travelling either side, but your travelling seat. I've just noticed either side. that on this bench you've got your USB chargers and you've got a three pin socket there as well. So if you've got a phone charger or anything, plug them kids with tablets as they are. And this little panel here is the extension to your table to bring out the table when you make up the beds so when you pull these panels out and put the infill cushions in you've then got a, a really decent sized front bed as well so that works terrifically well, do why, like that why don't we in a minute marky while we're on this section make the bed up for the campers and let them see yeah. what it looks like let's do that there we go more storage which is really great yeah cool right. let's do that now then So here I am, campers and Dorna here. I'm luxuriating in the kitchen, my natural habitat, but we do have a glass lid to our decent size sink with a plastic drainer and of course a little wire drainer just for the old cup and saucer. That's all lovely and jubbly. Uh, glass lid down while we're traveling, as we know. You have a dual hot and cold mixer tap, two mains plugs, TV aerial point as well, and a 12 volt supply should you want a little camping kettle or whatever, or toaster even. But why have a toaster done? I hear you say, why have a toaster in this van? <laughs> when you do have an oven and grill combination, which is brilliant. I yep. do like these Thetford uh, ovens and grills with a three burner hob on the top. Again, glass lid. Glass lid's down while we're traveling campers, you know, it always makes sense. Light and extractor. Uh, a Above the hob. Just in case is, you burn your water. Just in case you're burning, your, you're poaching your eggs all wrong. Um, a dishless, a plateless microwave, which yeah. is good. Less rattles. One good. less rattle. Um, and again, in the cupboards above, where you will find our Apex Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah your Wi-Fi. Like a little Wi-Fi. Crystal um, cup glasses. Crystal glasses. And then we have below the old Dometic. 12 volt, volt fridge. compressor fridge and everybody seems to be swapping over these are just a, such a good option yeah. they get cold really quickly uh, they work so efficiently and with the solar panel on the roof and your mm. lithium leisure batteries these days and they're quieter they're and quiet, you yeah. know with everything um, eco-friendly these days it's more economical friendly than it would be running on gas yeah absolutely no it makes a lot of sense and what do we have behind this lovely roller door? Look at that, the perfect size washroom. And it's a decent size washroom for the size of van. You've got everything you need in here, including all an extractor. Yeah, an extractor. With a little extractor button up the top there. Brilliant, which is good. Lights inside and obviously outside. The sink will slide along so you can get yourself into a better position should you need to if you want to be using the shower. The um, shower does actually can be used you know um, as a shower or indeed your tap so that is the faucet that is the head there for your for your shower and your basin um, and then we've got our loo which is what we're all used to cassette loo little lever down the front to open and close the blade absolutely perfect underneath our forward facing traveling seats the two traveling seats that are belted we do have our electrics underneath here so we've got a lithium battery underneath there and just a little panel just to open up and your sergeant box your ecu your electronical control unit is underneath there as well with the habitation fuses and your consumer trip unit all nightly nicely compact and hidden away stored underneath there for you here I am in the back campers. Look, we've got a lovely seating area, as we were talking about before. 
doors open, sitting here, you've got two pedestal tables, one hidden and stored behind each cushion on each side of the van. So you can have two little coffee tables sitting here, hmm. looking out. Underneath the uh, off-site, which is the driver's side, um, you will find, so actually there's your table, you can see them just there, oh, stored, yeah. stored Bing -bing. really neatly just behind there. Lift them up, and underneath here we do have our water heater. So the water heater is in the corner here. Um, all the goodies that you get with the auto sleeper, the water hose, mains hookup lead, all the crockery, uh, grill pan, and all your accessories are in there as well. Obviously, they'll be living somewhere else by the time you move in. Um, USB mains plugs are actually on both sides as well. Yeah. So that's great. All your heating vents on this side as well. Underneath the... Uh, I've just noticed, side. actually, before you go onto that bench, uh -huh. that the boiler drain, should we lift that bench down again, Mark? Yes. Is underneath. Yeah, yeah, is underneath the back here. That so there's actually cushion. like a little yeah. kind of cubby hole just there. There we are. For the drain. drain. Down. And again, look at our YouTube channel, Choose Those with Motorhomes YouTube channel, because we've done quite extensive tutorials on draining down and winterizing the van as well, using different uh, valves, either the WOW or TRUM. Um, on this side, I'm going to rearrange, I'll rearrange my cushions again. There we go, look at that. Pull them all over here just for now, so we can have a quick look underneath this. And underneath the uh, near side, another table. passage side, yeah, sorry, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? You've got your other table. Carpets. And for your carpets, and of course this space will be open for you, so you've got tons of storage underneath this bench. I'd probably be a bit careful what you put underneath the bench that has the water heater. Yeah, because um, it needs to breathe. Yeah, and it, anything that just makes the ease of out. boiling. Yeah, you don't want it overheating and cutting out when you push them back. And then the windows are open, but you do get the privacy blinds. Yep. Um, fly screens <laughs> even though they don't open but still it all helps <laughs> uh, all of the um, all the lights can move to whichever way you want to That's you've a got nice feature. tv aerial uh, and a 12 volt supply for a 12 volt tv and a booster box at the top and we have our, we have a little a draft excluder for, oh, the, rear for the, doors. the rear doors yep a lovely great big skylight again the, the, the light in this van is super you know even with these dark windows when you're sitting here during the day, what I like about these vans is where you can be sitting inside, skiving, you know, and no one can see you because they're blanked out. But you still got lots of light in. It's really good, I like that. Yeah, got super. A carbon monoxide alarm and a smoke alarm at the front as well. Make up of the bed is a piece of cake. Just pull both frames into the centre like that. You can pull the middle cushions in, and then you've got the. Bed, obviously, you'd be turning them over the other way to uh, make it you know, flat. To make it nice and flat, pull that cushion in. You've got your space savers, uh, space savers. You actually got your, your infill cushions going to the middle there, and you've got a really decent size rear bed. Well then, so come on, Marky, what do you think of this one then? Again, a really good quality product by Auto Sleeper. Sleeps for, travels for. Um, that makes up into quite a, an extraordinarily large bed for the area yeah. you've got in the front. You've got a huge, like over six foot, just over six foot bed in the back. Mm. Um, so and yeah. it's nice to be able to have it as benches as well, so you can have the vista. view. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can, if you know, if you're looking out the side of the van, you've got a dining area to sit and enjoy the view out through the the, the side uh, habitation door. You've got your own washroom. You've got a kitchen. Yeah, you've got everything you need to enjoy a camping trip. You've got the modern facilities of like um, Wi-Fi, lithium batteries, solar panels to charge the batteries. Yeah. As long as you've got enough water, fresh water, 69 litre fresh water tank, yeah. 40 litre waste. If you want a full berth and you want a camper van and you don't want a coach built or an A-class motorhome because you're more comfortable driving a panel van like this, then this is perfect, isn't it? I mean, Yeah, decent size, get in anywhere you want to, can't you park anywhere? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's great. Again, you've got... The winter pack on it, so it's insulated all throughout. The tanks are insulated. Um, yeah, a whale you... hot water and, and a heating system, yeah. and then a control panel that's nice and easy to use with the built in yeah, um, a manual on manual it as well. On so, it. Yes, if you yeah. get lost. So you, if, especially no. with us, we always get questions about batteries, don't we? Yeah, yeah. How we can tell the health of your battery and, and would it charge your engine battery as well? I mean, this has got quite a comprehensive look at the batteries. And all the help you need to explain how to, to, built to work in, it, isn't it built yeah. into the to control panel. Yeah, it's a nice. fantastic bit of kit. Modern van, uh, economical, 
runs cleanly. It's got a really modern cab, you know, in, in there. So it feels modern. It feels like a car to drive, doesn't it? Yeah. They are great. Now, if you're looking for a van of this size to take four people, I don't think you can't go wrong with it with, with the auto sleeper. Yeah, uh, with the Fairford, yeah, especially. Yeah. We are an auto sleeper main dealer down here in Tuesdays and Motor Homes in Canterbury, Kent. Don't forget it, it's auto sleeper August. Oh, so you is, could pick yeah. yourself up a bargain, just give the sales room a call or yeah. even go on the website. Check out the website. Um, yeah, or join us on our channel as well because we'll try and get a few more auto sleepers out during the August uh uh, special yeah so please join us on the uh, tuesday's remote home channel hit the like and subscribe buttons yeah and then until next time carry, carry on, on camping, camping.